Hi guys, uh, Tommy from the Six Education again, Compliance Department. Today's video is going to address a number of things uh, that relate to year end and of course of submissions. Um, and it's important for you to realize that we're just trying to put everything together that we are receiving for you in terms of helping you and managing your risks. Um, so that we all make sure that we have addressed everything as far as possible uh, for the final term submission. Right. The first thing is the plus compliance task. Remember, I have done a video about it. Uh, it's important. Go and work through it under my home tasks. Make sure that you've addressed most of them as this will make sure that your compliance has been addressed and that you have submitted everything possible required from our side by the department. Okay. Learner barriers is the next thing. It's just important to understand if your school has done this in the past, please make sure you have done it again. Uh, go and do it in SI SAMS, zip your final database and upload it to the system so that it will remember in the next export okay, to include it for you. We don't want you to have all kinds of risks in terms of post establishments um, or that that is affected because you omitted to do your learner barriers like you did in the past. Right, next aspect, marks validation security. You'll see that the department sent out a letter, or SI SAMS did, about a new function in SI SAMS for HODs and principals okay, to validate marks. Um, we've done intensive testing on this, and at, at the end of the day, I came to the conclusion that this is meant for SI SAMS schools only. Uh, it's so close to the end of the year, we cannot handle development for it currently and our advice is not to be worried about that at this moment. We will look into it in the new year and see what we can do about it. Right, next aspect, promotion and progression. A lot of information doing the rounds currently. I think it's important to realize that the department has made a number of changes. Um, it includes you know, new codes, promotion codes, functions, schedules, all kinds of things. Have a look at the related document. Uh, I have included some information for you in a summary format. I've also linked for you all related detailed documentation. In this case, it's quite a hefty document. Very important about Lurid's codes. If your school um, has subjects or technical subjects for high schools or even practical or vocational subjects, please go and make sure that you have corrected, uh, have corrected the, uh, the Lurid's codes on the system. Um, it's very important. We do not want it to affect your post establishments or, or risks around that. Then I get a lot of questions around IQMS. At the end of the day, guys, this time of year, we cannot develop this module. SSAMS has it integrated. You can use it, okay, as part of your final term decisions. Look at the procedure I included for you. Um, it is possible to make sure it's part of your term four submission. My advice would be, do it that way. It's in the format the department requires it, and at least it's done like it's required from us. Right, schools with LSIN classes, quite important to understand that your school setup, uh, the setting that asks for LSIN classes must be set to yes. Make sure your learners are correctly categorized in terms of mainstream, those that is in, in separate LSIN classes, and of course those that is LSIN, but in mainstream. It's quite important. It affects your post establishments, of course, um, and it has risks. Make sure you have submitted these type of information about your learners correctly in your final database. Uh, last week I did a little video on the CAPS content. Please make sure you uh, look at this in the document because I have, relate, I have basically linked it for you and made it available for you to download. Uh, we hope it assists you in terms of a number of questions uh, everyone has in terms of CAPS and of course everything related to changes in the curriculum. Then the admin year end, very important guys, it's normally very stressful for the schools as we move towards the admin year end. From my point of view, I included it to tell you that, look, it's quite an integrated process. You have a lot of uh, area to play with, it's quite flexible. You can do the work this year or this side of the year, um, you can prepare everything, but you simply do not have to click the final button this side of the year. Wait till next year, the second week of course, uh, in term two when the schools, uh, term one when the school opened, okay, and then click the final button. 
but that will allow you to still um, make sure that all the new learners coming into your school has been addressed, changes with teachers that the light has been addressed, and then next year, second week, when the school started, can you can click the final button. Don't make it so stressful for yourself. Be calm about it. Um, just uh, we will assist you when we get to that point. The final thing I want to highlight is when we submit term four this year as the year end and final submission, please make sure that you have a backup of it. It doesn't matter if you're on plus. For, for plus, I specifically want you to take that backup or that last final database, zip it and upload it back to the system. For the other uh, systems like Pencilbox and Smart, guys, make sure you keep it backed up. Plus system, guys, we will remove that database after your admin year end on our server next year, purely to make sure we start correctly and we are all in the same correct version of SSMs. Right. Thanks for being part of our team as always, guys. We will make sure that uh, all this information is linked to our resources page. And of course, like always, please go and join our Facebook group. All the best. Bye-bye.